And personally for me, tip number seven, I use owners as assistants. I don't wanna pay for an assistant. I don't wanna coordinate with somebody else's schedule. And even if I was okay with all of those things, I don't like having someone standing behind me. Because again, sometimes the pets are gonna look slightly off and look at that other person and not look right at me. Okay, so what I do, I'm gonna share with you guys. This is like the biggest tip that I could share with you for doing pet photography. Because so many people, this is my big secret, and it's not a secret, it's very simple. But so many people are asking like, how do you get pets to sit still? Like how in the world do you get 10 puppies to all sit still and look at the camera? Okay, so this is not photoshopped. Um, this is not a composite and it's not because of, you know, principles or integrity or anything like that. I'm just not that good in Photoshop and I just don't want to spend that much time doing that. So this is how the image was shot. So what I do with every session, whether it's 10 puppies, whether it is one dog, whether it's four dogs, whether it's a horse, um, I have owners on each side. That is where owners stay the entire session. I don't want them behind me. I want them right here petting their dog. So let's say that these people, you know, obviously for puppies, this is a safety issue, right? We need to make sure the owners are super close. But even if you have like adult dogs, if the owner's petting them, what's gonna happen as soon as the owner stops? So think about what dogs do, right? You stop petting them, then they start crawling towards you and being like, hey, don't stop petting me. Or they get out of place or they start nudging your hand because they wanna be pet. So the trick is, Owners need to keep their hands on their pets the entire time. And I just tell them, okay, I'm going to do a test shot. Keep petting them. I want to make sure my exposure and everything looks good. And don't take your hands off. Keep petting them. I'm going to make a little noise. As soon as they look at me, just slip your hands out. I'm going to shoot a couple shots and then stick your hands back in. Okay, so the dogs or the cats or the horse don't even really know that the owner stopped petting them because I'm distracting them for that few seconds by making those noises, okay? So keep petting them, keep petting them, ready? We get that look, click, click, click. Okay, they start moving, stick your hands back in. 